Transmog is coming to Destiny 2 next season in the form of Armor Synthesis. And chances are, if you've been on Twitter or Reddit lately, you've heard people losing their mind about how complicated Bungie made it. Which, to be fair, they did. But I believe it was for a specific reason. People are looking at this the wrong way, and I don't think anyone on YouTube has really touched on it yet. That's where I come in. What's going on, guys? This is Moonchild of Dude No Way, and today I'm gonna tell you the real story behind the transmog system coming in Season of the Splicer. In the TWAB on April 22nd, Bungie announced Armor Synthesis and the way you'll go about unlocking new ornaments for your guardians. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about this, but there are definitely some who haven't, so very briefly I'm gonna touch on what they said and explain it better so you guys understand exactly what's gonna be happening. First of all, all of these things have stupid names that sound too much alike, and I'm not dealing with it. Everything is synth something, synth strand, synth chord, synth weave, forget about all that. What we're actually getting is two new currencies and one new item. The first currency, which I'm going to call Synth 1, you're going to get just from playing the game. Everything you do is going to give you this, and at the start of the season, it might feel like you can't get enough of it. But by a few weeks in, you're going to have more than you know what to do with, and Synth 1 is used to buy bounties. Right underneath this in the TWAB, it talks about all the different bounties that are available, and there's a little something for everyone. No matter how you enjoy playing the game, you're going to be able to complete these in the background doing whatever it is you normally do. When you turn them in, you're going to get handed the second currency, which I'm calling Synth 2. You're going to need a certain amount of this to buy the new item. We don't know how much yet, but if I were a betting man, I'd say probably 6 to 10 bounties worth. Once you have the right amount, you can buy the new item, which I'm calling the Transmogger, and this lets you convert a single piece of armor into a universal ornament. One piece. All that previous work for one piece. This is the reason people are upset. I think a lot of us, myself included, expected this system to be simple. World of Warcraft came out in 2004, and their transmog system makes any new armor immediately available to you. If Blizzard figured it out years ago, why is it so hard for Bungie to just make it the right way? This is a lot of people's mindsets right now. They don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? To understand that, we need to make our way over to the vault. How many times have you asked yourself why we only have 500 spots? How many times has this thing filled up and you had to make hard choices about what you actually wanted to keep? Unless you're a new player, this is probably something that's been bugging you for years. I was pretty sure we got an increase from 400 to 500 at some point during the D2 life cycle, but when I tried to Google when it happened, the only results I got were dozens of posts begging for more space. Has Bungie increased the size of the vault at all since Destiny 2 released? Regardless, consider it as part of the total inventory space for your account. Inventory space refers to everything you have. Every piece of gear, every weapon, every shader, etc. All of our accounts have a designated amount of inventory space. If you head over to light.gg and look at the armor database, there are over 4,000 pieces of armor in the game. Consider for a second that ornaments probably count towards the total inventory spaces on your account. This means the more of them Bungie lets you unlock, the closer you get to that theoretical cap in the background. You might be wondering, why don't they just increase the size of that then? If we can only have so many spots open, why not just give us more spots? Here's the thing, they're doing that, but they just can't suddenly unlock every piece of armor for everyone in the game. It would break everything. It would take a full rework of their entire armor system and probably some very serious multi-million dollar investments into additional space on their servers. Manpower, money, and time, boys. These are the things working against them. Bungie laid out a roadmap of the next few years of Destiny and a bunch of the things we can expect and when to expect them. They put themselves under a deadline and the whole world is watching. To deliver on armor synthesis in the time they originally quoted, they had to look at it realistically. Full transmog is the end goal, this is the test. They probably wrote out a plan to incrementally increase the size on our accounts over the next year or two while they develop the system fully in the background. That's why we're seeing it roll out at such a small number. 20 pieces of armor is not a lot. That's five sets. And if you're like me and you play all three characters, five sets feels almost insulting. How am I gonna pick? It's gonna be tough. And I know we wanted it all, but what we need to keep in mind is there are only a small number of individuals in the entire world who can actually even make that happen. Do you know how to create a system that gives us access to every piece of armor we've ever unlocked? I certainly don't. And of the few people that do, even fewer than that are actually applying at Bungie. This is a team of humans, working their ass off to provide an experience worth playing. They're doing their best, dude. Everybody has high hopes and lofty goals till reality sets in, and then you gotta make the most of what you got. Most of us who have baller gaming PCs didn't buy them outright. We upgraded them, piece by piece over time, where it made sense for us financially. Same thing with us YouTubers. We didn't start with the perfect setup. We identified problems that needed fixing and gradually made them better until we had a quality experience. Everything is a learning process, and this is just step one for Transmog. As the background systems get better, we'll see the steps for getting new ornaments gradually get taken away. 
Eventually, we'll be able to pick up a new piece of armor and immediately be able to change our look to it if we want to. The game just isn't ready to handle the full load yet. Did you know when you fly to the tower, the game has to load every weapon and armor piece in the vault of every single person there, just in case they decide to put it on? It's true. Think about the load times you're used to. Especially you console guys, think about how long it takes you to fly to the tower. Now imagine if the game had to load 10,000 items every time you went. You'd be flying there all week before you landed. Honestly, the game would probably just crash. Things need to be changed on the back end before we have access to everything. As the system rolls out, Get pumped, because Bungie was still able to deliver something awesome in the time frame they quoted. 20 ornaments is still 20 new ornaments, so there is a reason to get excited. Stay positive, and remember, these are people doing their best to provide a quality experience for you. And so am I, so if you like this one, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I am Moonchild of Dude No Way, and I will see you in the next video.